Okay. So if you go to the uh, details of this uh, quick response logistics models, the basically the quick response model based on the trust and mutual dependence. If you have multiple carrier agency, in that case, you directly the, the quick response model, logistic model is directly uh, based upon the trust and mutual dependency, dependency of uh, supplier, retailer, and consumer. But due to that trust and dependency of relationship, the quick response logistics can be uh, implemented effectively and efficiently. The next part is that if you go to the QR model based on fear and powers. So in case of fear and power, the consumer's level, the retailer level, and supplier levels, this directly impact on inefficient lack of, uh, uh, you can say that is logistic activity in the form of delayed delivery, uh, unsatisfied customers, even if uh, it cannot be balanced, uh, the demand and supply, which is arise by the customer point of view. So most of the company are directly tied with, with most of the intermediate uh, who play a vital role for, uh, you can say in case of marketing, in case of sales, uh, and you can say uh, to build up uh, potential customers uh, whenever they uh, deliver the goods through the quick response logistic activities. And it is happened due to more amount of trust in case of supplier, in case of retailer, uh, and in dependency between uh, manufacturer and seller also. Then moving to the next case studies. Here I have provided a case studies. If you go to the Jara point of view, as you know, the Jara is very much uh, famous for its, uh, uh, you can say, rapidly changed design in case of, of uh, fashion and garment industries. So most of the uh, uh, QR model in case of Jara, uh, the Jara made a particular, uh, that is known as global distributions, uh, center that is known as the center cube or Jara global center cube. This particular Jara center cube is uh, um, well interconnected with raw material, material suppliers, then fashion designer, the next is cloth factories and store manager in the form of details. If you take the wide view of this particular quick response logistics, uh, starting from the supplier point of view, the raw material that is known as a bulk fabrics for the for garment industries, they are directly, uh, directly from the sourcing and through the quick response logistics. It should be reached up to the Jara Global Cube Centers or considered Jara Global Distribution Centers. Similarly, the bulk order of bulk fabric order should be directly, uh, or you can say that the order of information or that order uh, from that uh, Jara Global Center is directly to the number of supplier who are. Uh, get attached with this particular Jara Global Center. And all the networks starting from the uh, store point of view, raw material point of view, fashion design point of view, then a cloth factory or uh, factories point of view, these are well connected through the quick response logistic. And due to this quick response logistics, they can deliver uh, any product to any country within 48 hours. So that is why uh, it is not initially happened, but later on Jara has implemented an uh, uh, learn through the different strategy as apart from your coke industries or you can say that is uh, in form of Starbucks. In that regard, they have implemented a, a wide range of quick response logistics uh, to fulfill the order of customer within 48 hours. The next uh, case study is, so this is the Indian case studies. As you know, this Dr. Patholabs, this is India's leading and most reputed diagnosis chains links. So initially, uh, if you think about past two decades, there was a huge amount of, uh, you can say, uh, lacuna in case of Medicare services uh, in the state like Odisha also. So in this regard, the, the, if you go to the company point of view, just imagine so they have uh, 1,000 field executives and they have sample storage bags, maintain the right temperature and sample secures. So most of the, the health worker are carry this type of uh, some sample collector bags. But uh, if you think about past two decades, there is no possibility of this customized bag. And only few privatized healthcare firm, they have owned this particular storage or sample collection bag. Then 
uh, multimodal transport service by this uh, Dr. Lab Patho, uh, Dr. Lal Patholabs. They have used uh, multiple or multi model transport services like flight, like bike, like train, like buses. And they have well connected with 15 plus uh, countries and they have already covered these particular countries and uh, around 38 airports covered in India. So in that regard, they, uh, they deliver around 6,000 plus uh, that is pickup point across India, uh, starting from your twin cities, starting from the uh, semi-urban area. And they have already connected around 6,000 plus pickup and pickup point across India. Uh, and this process is known as safe and secure process. Then the mode of uh, logistic activities, that is multimodal transportation, which, uh, they have already covered around 500 railway stations and bus terminals across India. And uh, in a in a year, our uh, in their field is due to cover equivalent to distance from the Earth to Mars and back in three times over this one. So this is the minimal transportation time they have already covered. And why, why they are implementing quick response logistics, as you know, the uh, due to a lack or uh, less amount of availability of uh, organ donors, especially in case of a place like Maharashtra and Bangalore, where uh, more number of uh, organ transplant should be done. Uh, so, uh, was done and that should be done in upcoming futures. In this regard, Dr. Lal Patslap play a vital role in case of healthcare. So due to that things, if you go to that, they test by organ, like these are the conditions, they, these are the basic samples, starting the heart, liver, lungs, and infirmities, diabetics, and kidneys. The most of the cases, they are just transplant livers, kidneys, even if uh, heart also. So in this regard, they are using quick response logistics. How the quick response logistics play a vital role? Uh, these are the different uh, offer announced by this particular Dr. Lal Patholabs. And uh, as you know, the most of the com uh, healthcare uh, sectors, they use uh, different kind of strategy to different sort of uh, metro cities like Hyderabad, Chennai, Surat, and even if some uh, they already of offer uh, different kind of packages to senior citizens. Then moving to the QR model of this clinical unit, why they have used this quick response model for clinical unit or healthcare? So if you go to the uh, wide view of and broad view of this uh, quick response logistics model, uh, initially uh, they go for plan. What kind of plan? That is known as supply planning, logistic assessment, then import permits. So you know, uh, the, in case of human organ trafficking is a crime. So that's why it uh, the government policies, government rule and regulation for uh, Medicare and organ or in case of uh, trafficking, or you can say that is the uh, lack availability of donor in that particular area. The policy is very much differ from state to, to state, even if some country to countries. So you have before planning or 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 you can uh, find any kind of uh, uh, perfect donor for this particular demand. In that class, in that uh, section, you directly uh, go for the supply plannings. So apart from those things, in case of supply planning, uh, I, I have already told that they directly uh, plan to the product that is known as your organs. Then next one is facilities for storage because in case of heart, heart after six hours, the heart will not function. Similarly, same thing happen in case of eyes also. So the, in case of living organ, you have to take care of, take care about this particular organ whenever you transport from one place to other place. Then logistic assessment, as you know, the, for transportation or assessment of all um, human organ from one plus to other plus, uh, the medical practice, uh, pract uh, even you can say that the medical or the healthcare unit may provide a huge amount of uh, take care and responsive responsibilities for assessment of this logistic operation. The next important part, as you know, uh, in some countries, the human organ should be uh, should not be uh, directly trafficked, and for that, some protocol should be um, maintained. The next part is order, then ordering and labelings. If the, a particular patient is ordering, they directly uh, through the implementation of uh, ERP, they, uh, they will provide some labelling and some barcode that should generated in the form of. Uh, order. The next is distributions. Uh, in case of distributions, the clearance of customs 
as you know the most of the organ donor uh, from uh, are from abroad then transportations then most important is storage recla and dispo disposals so here uh, whenever a order is arise the clinical trial sample supply and that communicate to this particular qr model by coll collaboration of logistics activities or logistic assessment that should be reach up to the needy people who need that particular organ so he, uh, in this regard uh, most of the clinical healthcare unit are huge quick response logistic model in the recent uh, sorry in the last last month as you know um, most of the, in case of bhubneswar apollo hospital has uh, made this kind of quick response logistics just imagine within the five minutes there should be reach from uh, starting from apollo hospital to airport for uh, for a particular uh, donor uh, like the place like hyderabad they ready to donate uh, liver or some kind of organ to a patient who is need uh, needy for that particular organ then moving to the next one any doubt from your side anyone Yes, any doubt? If you have any doubt, you can ask. Any doubt from your side? No, sir. Hello. Okay. The next topic is green logistics. So in case of green logistics, it is defined as the effort to measure and minimize the environment impact of logistic activities. And these activity include proactive design for disassembly. So in that case, we have already discussed uh, this particular topic in case of your sustainable supply chain management, where uh, the company like DHL company, like Ikai Industries, which is the world largest, uh, you can say, furniture making companies. In that case, they just eliminate the part of uh, what uh, natural resources for making furniture. And they, they use or they search for or they research for different kind of sustainable product from the recycle or reusable product. So in that case, if you go to the green logistic, it is a form of logistic which is calculated to be environmentally and often social friendly in addition to economically functional. So most of the green logistics are enable your environment friendly, even if that is social friendly and most important. That is economically functional. The next part is this include all activities of for your forward and reverse flow of product. The information and service between point of origin and point of consumption. Most of the logi in green logistic play in between the, the point of origin uh, and the point of consumption. In this regard, uh, if you discuss the different aspect of uh, your green logistics, uh, there are some common examples. The first one is transportation, that is reuse, efficiency, design for logistics, proximities. And the uh, next part is that your sourcing, then reverse logistics, return or avoidance, quality of life and waste is food. So these are the common example we will discuss one by one. That is known as, uh, first one is known as minimization of, uh, of emission and energy consumption in case of transportation. So that is why most of the company like Tesla, like Tata Group also, they just customize their vehicle for for low low carbon dioxide emissions and they they directly focus on consumption of a huge amount of electricity in the form of uh, renewable energy so that is why if you go to the telecom company they move to electrical vehicle for field service so before this particular activities by geo like bhatia tells 
initially they uh, for they go for inspection by the traditional vehicle nowadays they use uh, electric electric vehicles for uh, uh, reduce the amount of carbon dioxide emissions uh, or you can say that is directly eliminate the percentage of uh, carbon dioxide emission as well as they directly go for saving energy in the form of uh, uh, they are diversified towards renewable energy which is known as electric or batteries the next is reuse reuse such as process of reusing uh, durable packaging in your supply chains so before uh, starting uh, this uh, packaging innovations or we have already discussed this mechanic packaging innovations before if you if you go take the best example uh, before one decade we all before uh, 10 years or 15 years back most of the parts and components are directly shipped by a uh, wooden box and uh, these are now uh, eliminate this wooden box they are implementing cartoons even if uh, crap paper even if they are using reusable papers in the form of uh, packaging innovation or to efficiently provide or efficiently play role in between supply chain networks similarly in case of beverage industry they are huge um, uh, different kind of plastic carriers so due to environment friendly they use so tetra packs by you can say that is they are using single use plastics or or you can say that is a thin layer of plastic uh, in the form of tetra packs the next is efficiency reduce wastage uh, or reduce waste to improve operational efficiency as I know, in case of operational efficiency, you have to uh, take care of about different operational expenses. So, for example, an e-commerce company that fit each order into a reasonable size or box without wasted space. So, they do that most of the uh, transportation company are uh, always search for consultations, uh, ship shifting, or you can say that is uh, in a single container they will arrange different kind of order. And that uh, different kind of order directly sent to different types of destinations. But in, in this regard, they efficiently use, uh, you, you can say that is uh, the supply chain as well as the logistic activities efficiently and effectively. The next part is design for logistics. Design thinking to be easier to transport. For example, furniture that require minor assembly but fit into an efficient standard size box. In this regard, you can take the best example. Uh, before five years or six years back, most of the bicycles are directly shipped from the manufacturing plant to retail house. But now they, they are used uh, some customized cartoon box. In that cartoon box, they are uh, this part are uh, simply deassembles and they are again they reassemble at the retail out. So in this regard, they can customize the space as well as they use the wide um, you can uh, you can say that is the wide and uh, suitable design for logistic operation the next is proximity reducing transport by doing the things closer to the customers so in this regard for example local sourcing parts so before starting so you can take the best example uh, in case of mahindra and mahindra uh, uh, suv in the form of scorpio Initially, the company has assigned uh, different country like Egypt, like uh, you can say that is like China, uh, like Indonesia, like in Philippines. They are manufacturing different kind of parts. But nowadays, uh, due to this reduce the transportations, they are directly assigned different uh, uh, associated and different similar company for making this component sub component, and they are assembled in a in a local. Uh, uh, local assembly center of uh, you can uh, Mahindra and Mahindra, which is situated near Nasik. And due to those things, it directly enables the proximity in the form of local sourcing of parts and subparts. Then moving to the next uh, examples. The next example is sourcing. So in case of sourcing from environmental responsible partners and implementing control and audit to the continual, validate their environmental practice. So for sourcing, you have to go for environmental responsible partners who are implementing different kind of environmental uh, environmental quality controls and they also implement some kind of audit for continual improvement and evaluate their environmental practice these are especially in case of assemble center these are especially in case of uh, you can say processing or you can say it is uh, process industries manufacturing industries uh, even if metal industry also the next is reverse logistics that is known as resellings 
reversing then remanufacturing reusing and recycle item are written by the customers so as you know if you compare amazon versus e cart the most of the people are uh, raise their hand in case uh, in the favor of, of flipkart because in case of flipkart their return policy or in the in case of levers logistics is very much simple and most of the customer are prefer and they uh, they make they they provide more thinking in case of reverse logistic of uh, e cart the next is return avoidance preventing returns with techniques such as digital tools to make sure clothing fit to the customer before shipping it then this regard if you take the best example in case of mintra uh, that is uh, they have provide some uh, digital tool uh, of different clothes and garment uh, uh, before shifting they provide a different size chart to the customers whether it should be fit to the customer or whether it should not be fit to the customers uh, before shifting those things that should be uh, clearly mentioned to the customer before ordering the next is quality of life working to improve quality of life in the communi communities where you operate for example improving safety of transportation the improved safety of transportation if you take the best example in case of agrawal movers and takers so just imagine there is no company who provide any kind of insurance or in any kind of uh, uh, can say that is uh, damage or uh, or any kind of scratch insurance uh, whenever you transport huge amount of or number of vehicle from one place to other places india mein aisa koi company nahi hai jo matlab agar aap vehicle ek jagah se dusra jagah shift karte ho in that case they will provide insurance the next part is that even if ola will provide whenever you book a ola ride they will provide uh, insurance for uh, during your uh, your mobility from one place to other place they will uh, provide the insurance of uh, with the exchange of 1 rupees and that should be on offline that if you if you go for that option then will they will pay they will charge us 1 rupees the next is waste is food the principle that business process does not release anything into the environment that could not be safely consumed by the by an or, organism for example hydrogen power vehicle that emit water as waste product the related to ida cir circular economy is considered the most of the waste is food in case of principle of business process does not release anything into the environment as i told in most of uh, this particular hydrogen power vehicles this is uh, done by tesla motors even if some uh, uh, multinational company so whenever he use this uh, hydrogen power uh, the hydrogen power they, gen they basically generate water as a waste and these are not uh, uh, not affect the economy of this particular ideas the next is so here is the uh, a business can gain uh, the following benefit from green logistics the first thing is uh, in case of uh, pollutions so that is reduction in case of carbon dioxide emissions that is why most of the transport company are use uh, renewable energy for example solar energy electricity for transportation activities the next is unlocking significant uh, cost saving then uh, height, heightened the supply chain optimizations then boosted business performance so these are the basic benefits starting from reduction of carbon dioxide then cost saving then optimization of your, of your supply chain and boosting business performance in the form of speed delivery without delay and safer process that should be if effectively and efficiently implemented your business performance so here the next uh, case studies as you know akai industry is very much famous for his uh, worldwide manuf uh, manufacturing of uh, furnitures so akai has implemented green logistics in various way the akai company view green logistics is fastly to remove wooden pellet the most of the wooden pellet are used uh, in case of supply chain so basically the furniture should be covered with number of wooden pellet they just remove this wooden pellet in case of uh, in case of their entire supply chain networks the instead of wooden pellet they are using paper and cardboard as i told the most of the indian company also initially they use wooden pellet for transportation activities of different parts component uh, in case of uh, most of the uh, the metal industries are use this type of wooden pellet but nowadays they are just eliminate the wooden pellet and use paper and cardboards 
The next part is the CO2 emission that is known as carbon dioxide emissions. The Akai IOA monitoring system steers the transport partner to use low CO2 equipment. So Akai has tie up with uh, a third party companies who who has implementing uh, implement for uh, you can say that is regularly monitoring uh, to reduce the percentage of uh, of carbon dioxide from their various equipment tools which uh, uh, are directly associated with loading or loading and uh, manufacturing or you can say that is manufacturing of furniture industries then the, the iway monitoring systems is akai's own measuring system so after that uh, they have implementing their own monitoring system to reduce the carbon dioxide and emissions in case of equipment so as a result uh, the akai industry has uh, found those things uh, around uh, in the year 2014 around 100% of total flow integrated to non wooden pallets so just remove 100% of wooden wooden pallet which is basically used for supply chain activities the next uh, in the year 2015 all transport partners are fulfill the iwa standard for monitoring or or you can say it is uh, monitoring the low carbon dioxide uh, equipments uh, and fulfill the standard of I, uh, sorry uh, in the year 2015 all transport partners are fulfilling the iwa standards that is ik standard for corporate social responsibilities so these are the basic agent who directly go for uh, implementing green logistics in in their own companies the next case study is that is dhl we have already discussed a small case studies of dhl in case of supply chain sustainability but the thing is that the dhl global forwarding solution provide a reliable way of accounting for and managing your supply chain co2 emission so their methodology follow the principle of greenhouse gas protocols they have men they have strictly follow the greenhouse gas protocols and world economic forum guideline for consignment level carbon reports so this consignment level carbon report is directly concerned with the carbon dioxide emissions so basically dhl use multi channel vehicles or multi mode vehicles for example in case of bulk shipment or speedy delivery they use air buses for roadways they are use um, long trailer trucks and for large volume of or large quantity of material they use cargo ships so in this regard the, the mode of transport transportation is uh, is uh, used or deployed by the dhl company they they are producing a huge amount of carbon dioxide emission to the environment So due to implementation of green logistics they can directly follow the different greenhouse so you can say that is greenhouse protocol and world economic forum guidelines for uh, for all consider is to reduce the co2 emissions so that's why they have implemented this type of vehicles and that is uh, small cargo vans for uh, for shifting good to different destination and for reduce uh, the this particular uh, Uh, carbon dioxide and emissions uh, they have made a particular go green missions and uh, in the year to uh, 2050 they reduce or uh, this uh, co2 emission uh, percentage to zero level that is their missions in the form of green logistics then the next topic any doubt from your side anyone any doubts yes no, sir hello sir i will be the question in surya international ha ko suban yes धीरे धीरे हेलो 
that yes, company belongs sir. to which sector surya international sir let me check sir sir manu bhai ne solar panels yes sir solar ever solar panels and uh, all that okay what was yeah surya international the 